guys, Susan here. Okay, in the last episode, we converted that torso sloper into a pattern. Let's grade this up a size, and that's what's next. The process of changing the size of a finished pattern is called grading, and that's what we're gonna do right now. But we're, there's two types of grading we said. We said there was the one inch grade, which means that from the circumference of your dress form, we're only going to increase around each of these points one inch. Now, if you want to do the small, medium, extra large, large, that is usually a one and a half inch grade, meaning from that one base pattern, we're going to increase the circumference on that one and a half inches bust, waist, and hip all the way along that pattern. We're going to increase that. All right, so that's what Maria asked me to show you, and that's what we're gonna do on the flat. But just to let you know, in sizing, usually your base size eight dress form, which is what I have here, will convert into my size four, six. And if I call that the four, let's say I call it a four, so I would need to grade one inch to get to a six. I would have to grade another inch to get to the size eight, another inch to get to the size 10 and so forth until you get to a size 14. Then it has to be a lot larger um, grade, even if it's considered a straight grade, if that makes sense. If you're grading extra small, small, medium and large, even up to extra large, your grade will be one and a half inches extra on all these specific points. So, but once you get to extra, extra large or one X, two X, then the grade increases more and is not just a straight one and a half inch grade. I'm going to show you a one and a half inch grade with my size four six sloper that I turned into a pattern. And that's what we're gonna do on the flat right now. Okay guys, the supplies you're gonna need for this project. I, used, I like to use a, a cork board, but if you don't have it, you don't have to. Weights of any kind, long pins, push pins, pattern making paper. If you don't have it, brown paper or unshiny white paper will work. French curve, hip curve, straight two inch by 18 inch clear plastic ruler, paper scissors, pencils, a long prong, tr long prong tracing wheel, and of course the pattern you wish to grade. Let's get to it. Guys, this is the pattern pieces that we're gonna be grading. I'm just gonna show you the front, but I just wanna show you that this is half of the body. And when we do a one inch grade, that means the circumference that we're gonna to have to add a little bit here, 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 and here to make one inch extra or more for the next size. When we're doing a one and a half inch grade, we're going to be increasing these two pattern pieces uh, to one and a half inches extra for the next size. So I'm gonna just show you here first. Where do we put the actual allowance is very important. This is a simple grading process that I'm showing you. It is not usually uh, the calculated ones that are done in the industry that is done with the computer system. But this is a, just a simplified grading process that I'm gonna show you. I call it simple grading. And this is how I've done my extra small, small, medium, and larges and extra larges in my company. So how does the body grow? Well, the body usually we're going to grow it mostly on the side seams, but also your arm is gonna get bigger, right? So it won't have to drop it a little bit. Your neckline's gonna get bigger, right? So we're going to have to increase that. And it also means where your bust point is going to be. Sometimes just a very little bit has to be added to the center front. In my formulations, I have developed it where I add just a quarter of an inch on one of the patterns on the side seams, a quarter of an inch on this side, a quarter of an inch, and a quarter of an inch, and a quarter of an inch, and a quarter of an inch, then becomes one inch. So we did the one inch. Where do we get that other half of an inch? Well, usually I like to do it here on the center back. 
and that is usually I don't like to do too much on the neckline I would probably only do a sixteenth of an inch way up here but then I will add one eighth of an inch here on the center back so this is only one half of the back so an eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch eighth of an inch and an eighth of an inch further down here will then add up to a half of an inch so there's how we got our one and a half inch grade I folded a piece of paper about 22 inches wide by about 33 inches long and just enough to fit my sloper hopefully you can see it in the screen really well and we're going to go ahead and start the process the first thing you want to do on the folded line because this is going to be folded for the front right the center front is we're going to add one eighth of an inch here at and put a marking all the way along here I like to only give a sixteenth of an inch when it's further up at the neckline so we're going to make that line not completely the same so down here I'm going to add one eighth of an inch and draw a line that's going to be where my new where my pattern is going to be placed once I get to this point I'm going to go and take one sixteenth of an inch gradually get it to that one eighth of an inch that's how I like to do it there now we have somewhere to put the pattern I'm going to put the pattern right here meshed up where the neckline is, is going to be one sixteenth of an inch down towards the middle and the bottom will be one eighth of an inch we have that flat I, I stapled this together you don't have to I just didn't want it to curl up on you when we're doing this all right so now we know that we're going to do that for the center front we also said on the side seam we're going to add one quarter of an inch so let's go ahead and add that quarter of an inch from the edge of the side seam where the seam allowance is so if a quarter of an inch let me make sure I get the right side of this ruler one side is smaller than the other guys and that's to be able to accommodate your pen or pencil so I'm going to draw a line here around the edge of that pattern one quarter of an inch more just like this and I'm going to do that all along the sides the side seam of this pattern just like that once I have that with those markings I'm using a pen so you guys can see it hopefully normally would not be using a pen okay I'm just going to follow the the edge of that pattern and there is my quarter of an inch extra okay from here we said that the arm has to get bigger so we have to go down first I'm going to put a marking here on this intersection and that is the armhole and side seam intersection I'm also going to put a marking here on the armhole and shoulder intersection now that we added this here one sixteenth of an inch I don't have to add any more here on the center front of the neckline the neckline has now increased about an eighth of an inch I'm just going to draw out that shape like that it has to drop so I'm going to fold this back and drop down the armhole one eighth of an inch so there's my eighth of an inch from where that intersection is and I'm going to go out here uh, at the armhole and shoulder seam one sixteenth of an inch now I'm going to put the pattern back on there just like that now we have to shift the pattern this is where it's hard to do it by hand and that's why they do it on the computer but we can do this by hand I'm going to shift this down so I'm going to go to the new marking which is an eighth of an inch lower here underneath the arm and I'm going to put this over here where it is a little bit further out by one sixteenth of an inch now I have the new lines for where I'm going to put my new armhole there is my new armhole and it's in. I'm going to then go back up here to where that marking was the original marking and I'm going to draw in the shoulder like that so now we have increased the shoulder length by a sixteenth of an inch we've we've lowered the armhole by an eighth of an inch we've increased it by a quarter of an inch on the side so now we have a lot of it done I'm going to put the pattern back on the actual paper so we can get all the markings that we need as well so I'm going to go ahead and put this back here because I want to make sure that I have my darts in the right location so here it is flat you can use weights like I said you can use push pins whatever works for you because we have to get those dark points in 
So I'm going to quickly put the dart point here for where that bus point is. We're going to put this dart point, this dart point, all of these dart points just like that. So now we can trace this in. We also need to know where this notch is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put follow that dart all legs. I'm going to dart legs all the way so we see where that goes. We're going to go ahead and and trace just the bottom of this pattern like this. That's all. All right, we got it. So there is the graded pattern. So now this is going to be my medium. We Let's put in these dart points just like that. So here is the dart point. This is your new side seam. We've got here the dart point to dart point just like that. We're going to do, we're going to put in these darts just so you can see what's going on and we are getting there. So here is the other side as well as here and on this side and dart points here as well and here as well. Okay, so now this becomes, if that was a small, this then becomes my medium pattern. So that's going to be the torso sloper pattern. And this will be considered medium. And the, the first one will be considered small. Okay, we did that. So here's, you don't have to add seam allowance. The seam allowance is already in the guts of it. We lowered it here. We've increased it here. We've increased it here. We've increased it here. We've put the dart points where they need to be. And that's it. Let me go ahead and cut around this. And I will be right back. Part that's very important. If you have a not notcher, you can put in your seam allowance so we know what's going on. That's a half of an inch this way and a half of an inch that way, um, as well as underneath the arm, like this. Also where the dart is and where your center front is, you wanna put a notch. So when you open this pattern, you'll know where the center front is and you wanna know where the quarter of an inch around the neckline is. So that is the front pattern, just showing you the simple grading process. And thank you for watching and check out my next episode. I'll see you there.